Well, this might have been a mistake here today. It took me five hours to hike here, to hike to this miserable little stream high up in the mountains. I mean, it's just a tiny creek that's choked with bushes. About half of the, about half of the green plants behind me here are thorn bearing. It took me five hours to get here with like four or 5,000 feet of elevation gain. Just a brutal, brutal hike and it's hot. And uh, I don't know if it's worth it to be honest, but I've come here to fish for a fish called the Paiute cutthroat trout. This is reported to be the rarest trout in North America. And it, there are only a few streams you can fish for it in. You can't fish for it in its native streams. It's protected in its native area, the native habitat, its native creeks, but it has been planted in a few other creeks where it wasn't originally native to. This is one of those creeks. You are allowed to fish for it here, but after having made that hike, I can't imagine more than a handful of people a year come here. I mean, this was just horrible. It was a horrible hike getting here. But as long as I'm here, now that I'm here, I'm gonna try to catch a Paiute cutthroat trout. This is a really interesting looking cutthroat. It has basically no spots. And in the pictures I've seen, it looks very pale. So we'll see if I'm able to catch one. If you are seeing this video, that means that I have caught one. So keep watching. At some point in this video, I will catch one. Still unclear to me right now at the start of this little adventure here, if I'm going to be able to catch a fish, but uh, only one way to find out. Let's get to fishing. Okay. Oh, I just saw a fish jump right there. So I've put my backpack down. I got my fishing gear out. I was about to go fish that little pool over there. I didn't know if there were any fish in it, but it looked decent. And then I just saw a fish jump. So I know that there are indeed fish right there. Okay. Whew, I'm nervous. I mean, if I can't land a fish here, I'm sure there will be other spots higher up. Let me wet my net here. I've got the Zentenkara Suzumi in its shortest length, which is about seven and a half feet. I have a seven foot level line and a size 14 Ishigaki Kabari. I see the fish. Okay, I need to think this through. Guess I'll stand in the creek here. Ooh, there's cold water. Very cold water. Okay, cross your fingers. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I've never been so nervous while fishing before. It's because I don't know how many chances I'll have, you know? Did not go for it. It avoided it. Huh. Maybe it's seen me. I don't think so, though. Got it. Oh, come on. Yes. Is that it? That's it. What a strange looking fish. Okay. It has just a couple little spots, but I got it. I caught a Lahontan cutthroat trout. That's a surprisingly large fish. That's a nine inch fish. Oh, my heart is pumping. My heart is racing. Took several casts. 
I would call this the ghost trout. If I were the first person to name this, that's what I would call it. I think you'll be able to see the fish better if it's in my shadow, if it's in the shade here. Look at that. How bizarre. Just those few spots. Such a unique looking trout. Okay, let's let this guy go. You're free, little buddy. Oh, that feels so good, guys. I did it. Oh, I'm already exhausted. Should I keep going? Should I try to catch another one? Maybe I'll try to catch one more. Or at least I'll go upstream and see what the stream is like. Yes, that feels so good though. I'm not sure if it makes that horrible hike in worth it, but it means that it wasn't completely in vain. Oh, that was my first Paiute cutthroat trout. Very well might be my last. Okay, there's a little micro waterfall here and I can't quite see the pool at its base, but I think there's a there's a, uh, a pool around the base of the waterfall the size of a couple of pizzas, a couple of large pizzas. So I guess I'll go try to fish it. Yeah, I don't know if that's really big enough for fish, but let's try it anyway. As long as I'm here, I'll try it. Well, there goes nothing. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. Nothing. Yeah, that's just too shallow. I wouldn't be in there if I were a trout. You know what? Believe it or not, I think I'm gonna call it here. I think I'm done. I do not want to just spend hours bushwhacking up this little canyon here. I told myself before this hike that I should be okay if I just catch one fish, but I wasn't sure if I really would be okay with that. But now after having come here and after having seen this and after having caught that one fish, I'm content, I am happy. I do not need to keep fishing this creek. I can honestly say I've never worked so hard in my life for a single fish. Even if I had caught 50 fish in here, I've never worked so hard to catch fish before. This is by far the most effort I've ever put into fishing. It'll be nice when I'm back in my car, when all of this effort is behind me and I can drink a cold drink and relax and uh, also if I leave now I'll get back before dark whereas if I stayed here another hour or so I'm not sure that would be the case. Oh and there's one little interesting bit of history about these fish that I wanted to share so they almost went extinct uh, in their pure form and they would have so they were native to this one creek and there's a waterfall in the creek. The fish were not naturally were not natively above the waterfall because there's no way for them to get above the waterfall but I think I think it was rainbow trout that were introduced below that waterfall. And so the Paiute cutthroat trout hybridized with those rainbow trout. But turns out that years earlier, a young Basque sheep herder had filled like a coffee can or something with some little Paiute cutthroat trout from below the waterfall and had transplanted them above the waterfall, thereby unknowingly and inadvertently saving the pure native Paiute trout population. I thought that was a pretty interesting story. Thanks for watching. I know this was kind of a weird video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next one. 